Hello, this is Eric Larson with the Assistive Technology Department. In this tutorial video, we'll be looking at how to find and use DocHub on a Chromebook. So DocHub allows you to annotate, draw, and highlight directly onto a PDF document. It is not only convenient, but it can be essential for students with various disabilities and challenges that make pencil to paper tasks inaccessible. So the initial trick might be getting your paper documents into Drive as PDFs, which you can do in a variety of ways with a smartphone app or by scanning and emailing PDFs from the front office and sharing the documents with your students. So now once you have the PDF document in your Drive, this is how you access and use DocHub. I'm in my Drive here. I already have a PDF that I'd like to use. You simply click on that. At the top of the page, you'll have a drop-down open with option. Now, if you haven't already added DocHub, you can go to Connect More Apps, search for it there, and add it. Once you have it, you simply click on that option. This will open a separate window in which you can use some of these cool features directly onto that PDF document. I've already opened this one once, so it's going to ask me if I want to open the existing, which I will say yes. Top of the toolbar, from left to right, we have our pointer tool, which is simply mainly for navigation. To the right of that, we have our text tool, which is your main feature for annotating and creating text. Simply create a text box and type. You can change the font and also the size. You can also move that text box around as needed. The tool to the right of that is your draw tool. Might come in handy. In addition, we have a highlight tool where you can go and highlight certain pieces of text. And you can change that color as well. You have a comment tool for making comments in certain areas. You have your whiteout tool, which will allow you to white out and erase certain areas. And we have our stamp tool. There are a variety of different symbols that you can use. We'll just use a checkbox. You can change the color of that. Basically, you can put that symbol anywhere you want, and you can move that around. You can also import an image that might be saved on the particular Chromebook that you're using. Now, how do we get this back into our drive? Up in the right-hand corner, click on this file option here. You're going to go to download, and you can either save that document or you can save as. We're going to go ahead and save to Google Drive. You can say OK, and you can open it immediately by show and drive. And you'll have your annotated PDF document. With the changes that we made here. That's all for this tutorial video. And remember, you have the power.